Welcome back, Weld 2 family. This is Andres Moya, a Piper welder from El Paso, Texas. Today I'm going to show you how to weld a bad fit up using TIG on carbon steel pipe. What's up, guys? Today we're going to simulate a bad fit up. Uh, I got my bad fitter for the day here, David Sedisa, is going to be helping me out. All right, so we've got a six inch pool here. Got a really bad fit up. You know, it's got a really bad gap. This side really tight, really open gap over here. And we've got high low. Once we get it all tacked up, I'll go ahead and show you guys what the high low gauges. You know, normally you don't want to do something like this to your welder. Me being a welder myself, you know, you don't want to, you want to have to weld stuff like this. And normally you don't accept anything like this in the field, but there'll be some situations that this is what has to be done. And my friend Andy here is going to show you how to weld it out. All right, so we're going to purposely make this really bad fit here on this six inch schedule 40 pipe. Have Moya tack this up. I'm going to tack with my Miller XMT at 95 amps using 332. All right, so we got our purposely bad fit here. I'm going to show you guys how bad it really is. You know, as you can see, it's really tight on the gap this side. And it's really open on this side. And I'm going to show you with a high-low gauge as well how, how bad the actual high-low is. As you can see, we're high over here. I'm going to go ahead and stick this uh, high-low gauge in here. And you can see it's so bad, I can't even get a reading with this one correctly. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball that it's sitting square. Normally, you'd push this all the way down. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it square here. Tighten up the legs. You can see those two should be even. Normally, you know, we got probably a little bit over an eighth of high-low. Apart from that too, you know, this high-low gauge here has a, has a gap indicator. Now we got a scale for a gap, got a taper. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here. As you can see, it's, I mean, it's still loose in here and it's maxed out on the scale. Over 3 16 of a gap over here. And if we use it on this other end, you know, it's only got about a 16th of gap on this side. Let me see if I can get this, uh, this high-low gauge in here on this end. A large amount of high-low. This line should be lined up with the, the 32nd line right there. Got a 332 wire here. Show you guys how tight this actually is. It finally starts going in right there. You know, Still pretty loose, starts getting looser down to the bottom. This side barely goes in. And then as we start coming down to the side here, you can really see the spit up is actually really, really bad here. All right guys, we're all tacked up here. I'm uh, gonna get ready to start welding this bad fit. So you can see it's pretty bad. It's a lot tighter on this bottom. Uh, on this bottom side, I'm gonna use 332 TIG wire. I'm gonna be using about 90 amps. I'm gonna grind and open up here a little bit. That way I can get my wire in there. Don't close up on me while I'm welding. I'm getting ready to tie into my first tack. I like to feather it, grind back a little bit. That way it's pretty thin here and I can get a good tie in. I just sit there and make sure I'm breaking down the walls, especially on the high-low on the inside. Try to stick to that wall a little bit more. It's gonna look a little slanted, but doable. Went in pretty smooth, tied in real good. I'm gonna jump to the bottom, the other bottom half. I'm going up to 1-8 TIG wire. I like to cut them in half easier for me to maneuver to a preference of mine. Start getting bound up here. I'm uh, getting ready to tie in here. I got bound up a little bit so I wanted to readjust myself.
tied in there. I like to sit there just a little bit longer. Make sure it fuses pretty good. Walk past where I grinded. Almost in the middle of the tack and just break off there. Yeah, I just got done welding the bottom half. Uh, this side's kind of tight, so I'm going to open it up with a grinder a little bit, give myself a little window so I can get my TIG wire in there. Uh, I'm probably going to use 332. That way I have a little bit more wiggle room and wire doesn't get pinched when it starts to close up on me. tight in there and go past my tie in just a little bit break off all right getting ready to do the last section of the pipe still at 95 amps I'm going to use 1 8 I opened it up just a little bit that way I'm not fighting when it starts to close up on me Just tie it in there. Just sit there just a little bit longer, make sure it soaks in. Use it together. Get a nice good tie in. Alright guys, I got my root completely in. I like to grind my root afterwards, clean it up, make sure everything's good to go. It's a preference of mine. But we're getting ready to put the hot pass in. Uh, I got it at 150 amps. Alright guys, I got my root completely in. So we're getting ready to put the hot pass in. Yeah, I got it at 150 amps. Yeah, I just got my hot pass in. I'm gonna start filling from the bottom up. I got my machine set at 175 amps and I got one eighth. I like to keep my wire on the side that has, still has more bevel. So I don't fill up too much on the side that's already almost flush. Again, yeah, I like to keep my wire on the bevel side that's still has a little bit more showing. I try to make it look as even as possible. A really bad fit up, really bad high low. Nice and tied in. Break off. Putting another filler, keeping my machine still at 175. Easy 1 8 TIG wire. Again, trying to keep my TIG wire on the side where the bevel's showing more. Trying to make it as even as possible. Alright, I pretty much got it flushed out. I'm going to get ready to start putting the cap. 
Uh, once I get done with the cap, I'm going to see where it's at. If I have to put another pass on there, I'll put another pass. But right now, I'm going to do 1 8 Heat still at 175. Uh, judging by the look of this pass, I'm probably going to have to put one more. But we'll be all right. Alright guys, there you have it, uh, start to finish, a bad fit up, uh, sometimes you're going to run into these in the field, on uh, last tie-in, last resort, and hopefully this helps you guys out, if you guys run into the situation, be able to have a better chance of tackling it, it's not the easiest thing to do, but sometimes you have to get it done. If you guys like the gear, the hood, the lens, the flip lens, guys go ahead and hit up welllife.com. Alright guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.